What's going on, Ryan Troy? Back with another video for you today. And if you're new here, once again, my name is Ryan Troy. I am a photographer and newly videographer, filmmaker, whatever you want to call that good jazz. Uh, so if you are into things like that, make sure you check out a couple of my videos. And if you like them, make sure you leave me with a subscribe. If you are back, one of my 707, I believe I have now subscribers, go ahead and hit that like button for me because I am trying to grow my channel and the only way YouTube will push my videos out is if this video has likes on it. Now, let's get into this video. So I started photography in 2009, as I've said many of times on this channel. And when I started, I actually started more in the digital age. And a lot of things that I'm realizing while going back and uh, I'm actually currently getting into shooting on film. Um, but what I've noticed is since we have these nice cameras with these high megapixels and we're looking at all of this sharpness, we are satisfied with straight digital photos sharing it on platforms like instagram and i and we all preach that you know you need to have a website because instagram compresses your photos so once you put it on your website you know you'll be able to see more quality of that but the thing that a lot of photographers especially newer photographers are not doing is printing their work i don't think that you see the value of printing your work but what I can tell you is from going to a lot of art galleries, it's no connection the same way you would have a connection with seeing your photo printed. And there are a couple of reasons for that. Let me start off with this. Let's say you, you calibrated, you calibrated your screen, you calibrated your monitor, and you know that your colors are right. You know exactly how you want your photo to look. Well, you have no control over how my smartphone, whether it's an iPhone, whether it's an Android, my computer, whether it's calibrated, whether it's not, you, you have no control over how I view your image. And that's a big problem, especially when we spend as much time as we do editing our photos. So when you have your photos printed, it is what it is. That what you see is what everybody else will see. You don't have to worry about is, is the shadows too dark? Is the contrast too much? Is it too saturated? Because some phones actually really saturate photos a lot. Um, I'm not, I don't want to take that many shots at Android, but a lot of Android, especially Samsung phones, they have like a real vivid saturation to them, like a, a, a nice vibrance. And I had a couple of photographer friends that always say, you know, I, I see my photo when I'm editing it on a computer, but when I put it on Instagram or when I look at it on my phone, it doesn't look the same way. Now, this is something that we will have to deal with regardless, but all I'm saying is printing your work is something that is just truly amazing and it, it ensures that everybody sees exactly the way you wanted your photos to look. Let me jump in to let you know that my presets that I have on sale are coming to an end. So this is the last week to get them at this discounted price. After that, it will go back to full price starting next week. So make sure you get them while you have the chance. Back to the video. Now, another thing of printing is you can sell your prints. Wouldn't you want to make extra income? And I know you may feel like, okay, well, the only people that's making money is people that's doing landscape. And actually, I felt like that once upon a time as well. But you can do the same thing with portraiture. It's this uh, photographer here in Columbus, Ohio, and he's in the military. Well, he was in the military or he may not have been in the military. I went to his art gallery night. Um, his name's Mahone. I will link some some of his work as well. But he had it at a creator studios. And when I'm telling you the, the stuff that you see, like just walking into there, they had it plastered all over the place. You just walk and look at his work. It's just something that cannot be explained while looking at something on a smartphone or, or looking at something on a computer screen. You need to be able to see it as, as if you can touch it and just stand there. You stand there with a whole bunch of other people. You could stare at a photo that's printed, you could stare at that for like a minute to like five minutes straight just just in awe just in disbelief it's it's a wonderful feeling it's an amazing feeling when someone sees your photo the way you want them to see 
your photo. Now, I think the reason why a lot of people aren't really doing this now is because it became so easy to be a photographer. Um, you can be a photographer with an iPhone if you want to. They, they sell cameras dirt cheap. It's way more easier to get in. I mean, we have crazy ISO. You can put your camera into auto now and be able to take a great photo without knowing what you're doing. And the ability to share it to social media instantly, whether you know how to edit or whether you do not know how to edit, also takes away from wanting to print your work in general. Um, I'm starting to see a lot less photos and people houses when I go to them, especially new ones. If I see anything on their wall, it's probably nice sayings of, of you know, just words and things like that. Um, but this is this is something that I really feel needs to come back. And people that print their work have never stopped. But there's just this these other people that never printed their work. Hopefully, you know, by watching this, it will at least have you go out and try. Now, I used to print my work through Bay Photo. I think that they're real good. But if you have a local um, print shop in your area, I would suggest you go there. Because one thing that you want to do is, uh, let's say with Bay Photo, they have color correcting options. And at that point, you're just leaving it up to a lab tech to decide, all right, I think this color should be like this. I think this color should be like that. But when you're able to go into, you know, an actual photo lab and, and talk or speak to the person that's going to be editing your photos, you have a little bit more control. So that way you can let them know exactly how you want your photos to be. And then also with Bay Photo is it takes like, let's say if I was to print my, my uh, pictures today, I may not get it back for like two weeks. You know what I mean? Um, and if you have a local place, they may send some stuff off as well, but they have a lot of things that you could get there even in the same day. I get it's, it's prints that I get back in the same day within an hour. You know, it it's all depends on the paper. And that's another thing. So the same this this is this is the reason why uploading your photos will never have the same effect. You have so many different types of paper. You could get your stuff printed on metal. You know, you have metallic. It's, it's all going to give your photos a different look as well. So when you shoot and when you edit, um, a lot of us teach on YouTube ways of, you know, exporting your photos to get it right for online. But it's also a different way to export your photos when you want to get it printed. And that's a that's a thing that I see a lot of newer photographers really don't understand because they don't print their work. But that is something, as I said, that's extremely important. You need to learn, you know, ways of, of exporting your photos that's best for print. Now, the color space that we use for posting our photos online is sRGB. Now, sRGB, if you see, is actually a, a color space that doesn't have as much colors as all of the other ones. You know what I mean? So with that being said, if you export your photos into sRGB and try to take it to get printed, well, now you're missing out on colors that you don't even have the option to use anymore. So it's like you want to make sure that while exporting your photos and if I have to, I'll make if you if you want me to make a video on this, I will but i'm pretty sure i mean this is youtube it's um it's like people here that are like really really detailed and and their knowledge of it is way more than mine when it comes to that aspect um i can teach you how to which i already have a video i'll link right here but i can teach you how to um export with the best settings for instagram all day long no problem because when you do that all you're thinking about is the megabytes and everything that the platform allows before it start compressing your photo which will start messing up the quality and things like that print your work okay just print your work trust me on it if you never did it just take one of your favorite photos don't go to CVS. Don't go to Walgreens. Do not go anywhere like that. And I know you probably did that. And you're like, eh, no, nah, trust me. If you go to a photo lab to print your photos, you will print. You will continue to print your photos constantly. It is something that is important. It is something that will just take your photography even to a whole different level 
just being able to print your photos. Now we're coming up to the end of the video. If you have liked this video so far, make sure you leave it with a like. If you aren't subscribed, please just check out some of my other videos. I don't want you to make a commitment, a long-term commitment on just watching this one video. So go ahead on and check out some other videos. And if you feel like I am a fit for you, then go ahead on and press that subscribe button. But I have a question of the day. If you made it this far, for one, make sure when you write down below in the comment section, you just say, still here with you. But my question of the day is, how long have you been doing photography and do you print your work? That is what I wanna know, okay? So make sure you leave that down below. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, peace.